right, so today we are going to be making a cool effect. Yes, I know we are always making cool effects here, but this time it's a little bit cooler and a little bit more neat. So what we're going to be making is dragging elements on the page. So you would have a, an image that you can drag around the page or a card or anything else, even a button. We can drag anything on the page. Call this gamification website of sections or elements or whatever, where basically you allow your users to play around with the on the page <laughs> by creating this game effect. So let's get into it. All right, so I have already set a container. So I set it to 100VH and it's boxed. Now let's add a few elements. So I'm going to start adding, for example, an image. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Uh, it can be anything. Let's go with something that we can see on this page. And let me just style it a bit. I'd hate the pointy corners. So I always do this and let's duplicate this and I'm going to choose another image and let's say this one and maybe let's duplicate this as well and let's add another one. Another image. Mm, yeah, let's go with this one. All right. So I don't know why this is happening to be honest as you can see the image has this height and it's so weird it never used to happen this so i'm gonna do this i'm gonna pull it back and same with this one and this one as well okay so we all we have them all in a row right vertical uh, horizontal row and we could change the size of this one, for example. Let me just change it from here. And we can um, change the, the way that the images sit in a row, basically. And we can say, let's align this to the center and also and push it left so it overlaps the other image, right? Okay, we're getting there. <laughs> okay, I think this is fine. And now let's deal with the other image and let's set this one to be a hundred as well. I'm gonna make this smaller. You know what? I think I'm gonna change this image. I don't like it. I want them all to have the same size basically. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, and this one we're going to do the same thing. Let's bring it to overlap the other image. And this way we have a few images overlapping. I'm gonna do this. And I think it's, this is pretty cool. All right. And uh, right now nothing is happening. We cannot, let's just publish this and let's see. So this is what we have. As you can see, you cannot drag the images because we have not added any code. So I'm going to add an HTML element. I'm going to add it at the bottom of the page. And I am going to add my code. Paste the code. This code basically is going to make our images draggable. As you can see, we already have added here a class. It's called draggable. Duh. <laughs> and this class we have to give to each image we have here, okay? So I'm gonna go and set set it for each image that we have in our container and this and this. Let's publish and let's see what happens. All right, so let's see if this is working. And as you can see, we can track the images on uh, in our container, but as you can see, I cannot go further than the container area and this is because let's just go back in our HTML because we have set the containment uh, of this action into the parent element into the, our containers so this is the parent element and these are the children and this is where the children are playing <laughs> So if we don't want that and we want to set the images to be dragged, to be able to be dragged all over the place, basically, we could just use this code here, which allows you to drag them all over the place. So let's see if that works. All right. 
as you can see it works go left right top bottom you can go all over the place I think this is cool so let's style this a little bit because we want to let our users know that these elements are draggable how are we going to do this because there's nothing saying that they are draggable right so let's add our CSS and I'm going to add the CSS in the parent container the top level and this is the CSS so I have set the cursor to move which means that it shows when you hover over the image it shows that this can be moved you could set it to grab for example and let's see what grab does it has this like hand that is open and grabbing is another uh, option that you can use and you, it's basically a cloth type of hand cursor so you will have to change that here and here as well if you choose to have grab grabbing or grab or move because this will uh, will actually work on all browsers and I set the Z index on hover to have this effect so basically when you hover let me just publish this and let's see on a clean page for example I hover over this yes and, and then if I hover on the next image it, the image goes over the other one and so on you can set it to Z index one I was just testing something let's see Z index one I was testing a button that is draggable and it wasn't really working properly so this is how the images react to this effect to be honest I think I like the move better and I will keep move for now and yeah this is how it's working so I also added uh, as you can see here we have the content property and the value drag me and this can be replaced with whatever text you want indicating that these images are draggable like you could say I don't know pull me <laughs> let's see what happens as you can see the text has changed this is how you can change the wording uh, that indicates that is these images are draggable this part of the code it's basically just uh, the styling of the background of the text and the text itself you can do whatever you want here it is up to you as always all right so let's also add uh, what else we can add let's add let's add an icon I have not tried with an icon and I'm curious okay we're having the same issue here and I am going to bring the icon down here let's change it with something cooler let's go with this <laughs> and let's make it bigger and let's just change the color and I'm going to add the draggable class on this one and of course this one also has the, the indicator text that is draggable okay let's go and see what happens and as you can see it works so you could add this on any element and it's going to work let's add also what else we can add let's look for a button so I'm just gonna drag a button in here let's do the same thing let's do the same thing let's do the same thing all right and I'm going to add the class of draggable on it as well and what are we doing here we don't know okay anyway so now this should be also draggable let's see what happens and it's draggable as you can see you can pretty much make any element draggable and you can also have this element sit in the parent container contained basically or you can have them be draggable on your page so I also have these two cards on the page and I think this is a 
a very cool effect that can be applied to anything. So for example, these cards can be moved around and they can they might they create this interesting effect where users interact with them in a different way than just reading. As always, if you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here. If you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video and I'll see you next time.